it's basically like being in lockdown again. It's just you're being paid for it and you're hopefully helping a really good cause to hopefully never have to go into lockdown again. It was probably the first time in the pandemic I felt like I could do something directly useful. So a human challenge model is where under very carefully controlled conditions we deliberately expose healthy volunteers to a bug or a pathogen. There's, there's only so much you can do in, in labs and, and vials um, and sometimes just seeing how something functions within a human body is the best way to learn really quickly. If we find if you have an antibody level above a certain amount, we cannot reinfect you in this controlled model where we know we are definitely exposing you. That's the level of antibodies we want to induce with a new vaccine. As you can see from the news and the emergence of new variants, we will probably have to keep refining those vaccines. If we can simply test those vaccines and say, do they induce that level of antibodies? That means that vaccine development will become much quicker and much more efficient. A friend sent me a link, because unfortunately a work trip had to be cancelled due to myself getting COVID, um, saying maybe something good can come out of this. Oh, a friend sent me an email saying, look at this Marcus, you had COVID, didn't you? Um, <laughs> and I said, yeah, let me check it out. She, she later said she felt bad because she didn't think I'd actually do it. But <laughs> we go through a very, very detailed process of what we call informed consent. Talk through the study with one of my trial clinicians in great detail, explain exactly what's involved. And then if you're cool with that and you want to proceed, and then you go through a screening process. And if they're confident that your risk of getting severe symptoms is really low, then they'll start looking at dates to put you in for a quarantine session. Brought down a lovely taxi, a um, taxi full of stuff. For me, that meant bringing a pile of science fiction books um, as well as my laptop. This is an infection model, not a disease model. So we are infecting people, but because we're infecting healthy young people, we don't expect to cause disease. Day zero, that's the day you get um, the fluid up your nose. And that's the start of the 14 days of isolation where you are potentially infected with COVID. Just with some tiny droplets up the nose, and then we monitor them extremely closely, taking swabs for PCR twice a day, taking blood tests many times. Everyone was really nice here. I worked on a fundraiser and some projects. Um, so the, the three weeks went pretty quickly. You even had a little mini fridge, so if you needed some snacks and things, and then they brought meals three times a day. You had a choice of two things, and I think you signed all of them before you went in, going, oh yeah, that day I'll be healthy, I'll have the fruit rather than the cake. And you go, really should have chosen the cake. <laughs> if anything was to go wrong or you needed anything, you had a button and a, and a number to text. Um, you know, oh, my water's run out, or I need a snack. Or... I think near the end I was counting down the days, but because that you start planning things when you get out, we don't put anyone under any pressure whatsoever. It would be unethical to do so. But we are very happy. I have a team of very skilled nurses and doctors who are very happy to talk to anyone who might be interested. Everyone's different about what they're comfortable with and, and risk that they're comfortable with. But the thing about a study like this is if the risk was really high, it wouldn't get ethics approval. Um, it, like many really highly qualified doctors have looked through and said, we think we can do this safely and we think we can do it in a way that would teach us about the virus and the pandemic. Um, and I just, I trust them. I trust the professionals. They're doing all the testing. I can see them do it. They're being really careful. They know what they're doing.